What's up guys? Welcome back to Maladam. I'm Rob, I'm your host, and today we're going to start work on the largest city. Well, the largest city so far. Maladam itself is still yet to be started. It's going to be around here somewhere, but today what we're doing is we're going to make significant headway on Brokelwarda. Now Brokelwarda is... In my mind, it's a historic town. It's not like Masa Andamala, where the vast majority of it was built fairly recently. So, you have the sort of... Every, uh, what, what we've got waiting for us so far is this uh, the station area with the offices and stuff, which is fairly common. You'd see that pretty much anywhere, medium-sized city. Uh, big car parks, which I built in preparation for all the residents who are going to be moving in. And because, of course, I have the... Uh, realistic parking mod on, which is great, but it doesn't mean you get some weird parking behaviours, like people who live, for instance, in this town, in Bunnick Plus, work in Bunnick Plus, or something like that, and then drive their car out to Brokovada to park to take the train back. Uh, it's rare, but it does happen, and it's very strange. Anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we've got this sort of weird, strange little layout of the old town here. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to work on that a little bit more, there'll be a few more streets to that. And then I'll also start, what I want is like a spoke pattern, so I might end up lowering the railway line. What I end up really looking for is spokes out to the north, north, um, east, east, uh, southeast, south, and so on, all the way in all the cardinal directions, with like newer houses on them. And then this area, which won't be too much bigger than it is right now, uh, with these funny little roads, is going to be an old town with much older buildings. Uh, Interspersed with a couple new buildings which fit the style, as is quite common in parts of Amsterdam and Den Haag. For instance, buildings like these. These buildings, uh, I quite like them. They quite fit. Uh, there's one very famous one, which is the De Pipe metro station in Amsterdam, where the ground floor is missing, and instead of windows, you have the entrance to the metro. And then above that is these normal apartments, but they fit quite nicely in with the four to five story apartments that you'll tend to find in any Dutch town anyway. So they don't look terribly out of place, apart from their kind of strange uh, plus shaped roofs. Anyway, I'm going to get to work. Uh, what I hope to do is have like a big nice square here, which I think I'll do first. And this nice square will be like the center. There'll be like a cafe. Uh, you can go to in lots of cafes in the middle. Uh, reasons for them to go. I don't have park life yet. I do intend to get that, but right now what I'm going to do is have businesses along on the other side of the street. So I'll add a couple crosswalks, and then in the middle I'll add some invisible paths, some uh, benches that they can sit at, some places for them to eat, maybe a few grills or something like that. Uh, most of the businesses are going to be on the outside, but I can fit a couple in in the middle, possibly, or maybe some statues or something. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to get started, and I'll see you on the other end of the speed build.
Well, there we are, guys. We officially have our new town square for Brokelarda and the uh, the uh, old town, or at least part of it, is now ready to go. Yeah, I think it looked good. I especially like what ended up happening with this tall apartment building here, which I know is not very old, but it's actually built in the classic Dutch style, which I think is really nice. So it adds a lot to the area. So I added this little park of green space to make up for that big apartment building, which just sort of dominates the skyline here. Uh, you have this beautiful square, which is not particularly full at the moment, but I do hope it gets a little bit fuller. There are a few people there already, which is great. Uh, I think the last thing I'll do while you guys are here with me is run a bus line out from the train station. I know it's not far, but just a little bit usually gets the Sims really desperate to walk. So <clears throat> if you give the them the opportunity to walk, to walk they will, uh, but not as much as if you give them the bus. If you give them the bus, they go crazy. Look, there's already people coming. They're all moving in now. So, if we run the bus from the entrance of the station, up, round, stopping, at the s back side of the square, uh, kind of want it to come this way, stop at the front side of the square, and then it can just go back and stop. And uh, we will add just a couple of the normal buses. Uh, just one, in fact, will be fine. And it's on its way. It's coming uh, from the bus station, I think. So that'll be a while. But yeah, I think this just looks great. It's it's already got so busy. And when it looks just a little bit busier, look at this. Look at all these people coming. I'm just going to pause it and get down on the ground where we can see all these people. Oh, it just looks amazing. Look at all these people on their way to work, on their way to their houses, uh, walking through the square, walking near the square, under the, the watchful eye of this beautiful, classical uh, skyscraper, and watching over them. It's just amazing. I really love it, and it just looks so authentic. I love that so much. Uh, we already have people waiting for the bus. I think I'll add some bus shelters in because what you usually have uh, with stuff like this, uh, I won't add the one where it needs extra glass. Oh, they both need extra glass. Okay, I'll just add this one in. Um, what you end up with areas like this is you end up with a really lively area and then people tend to sort of all try and catch the bus even if there's no need and there's only a short walk. So you don't only have old people taking the bus, but literally everyone. And that can be good and that can be bad. Uh, in this case, I think it's quite good because you have a very realistic uh, area that people really flock to, which I think is amazing. Uh, there's a bit of an empty spot here, so what I'm going to do is put a planter. See, now you're just getting the... Uh, the sort of rear end of my thoughts when it comes to this stuff. I'm also going to move the, the path if I can. Oh, it's the building causing that grey spot. If I shift it forward a tiny bit, it's gone. There we are. Uh, and what I found really strange is trees tend not to stick around unless you put them on grass first and then drag them in. I'm not sure why that is, but anyway, I've got that working now. So there's a bus shelter there. I don't think the other one needs a bus shelter. Um, saying that, actually, what I'm going to do is also add this this uh, um, great little building I found in the workshop called the Green Bus Shelter. The Green Bus Shelter is acts as a tourist attraction for some godforsaken reason, but you can change the ads on it. So look at this. You can change what it says on the side, which means you can have six of them in a city. And they can all show different things. I'm going to keep the Cookie Monster one on. I quite like that. But what I will do is make it so it doesn't flatten the terrain. Because otherwise, I'll look a bit silly. Uh, yeah. So let's move this one into position. And then we can just let it roll for a bit. Show a few of these nice uh, cinematics of the area. Maybe go and 
sit ourselves down in the plaza and just wait for night time to fall. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that because this has gone from being a really boring area to being the start of something really amazing. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a few more shots of it and I hope you really enjoyed that. Uh, I've been Rob, your host, and I will see you next time.